Hey, what's up? This is Nico with Aimly, and today I'm going to be running through how to start your fundraiser online with Aimly. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to goaimly.com, and from there, I'm going to run through every single thing, so let's hop right in. So, when you go to www.goaimly.com, the first thing you're going to see is this. Um, when you scroll down a little bit, you'll see start a fundraiser and view an example store. Now, we just added this feature, view an example store, so let's take a look and see what it kind of looks like. This is going to give you a good um, uh, example of what your fundraiser could look like, what it really should look like. You can see a really nice um, description, beautiful photo, personal photo. Scroll down, you're going to see a section for people to cash donate or support by buying chips. Now, if they donate cash or if they buy chips, you receive 50% of those proceeds. One of my favorite new features about the website is that you're able to schedule sessions with fundraising coaches. Now, maybe you don't need this, but you know, for a lot of people who are new to fundraisers or just want to have extra support, um, this is going to be really valuable. Basically, you could find this really big button at the bottom of the page, click through, and you're going to be able to call us or email us to schedule a session with one of our fundraising coaches. Highly recommend. It's a really great way to take your fundraiser to the next level. Okay, so starting a fundraiser, we're going to click the big green button. It's going to take us to this page. Now, if we are a team leader, let's say we have a group of people that are going to be joining in and participating in our fundraiser, we're going to click that button. That'll give us uh, options to send out a link to the members so that they can set up their own particular landing pages. But the money will be pooled. Um, and if you're a team member, you're going to click that option. That's if you are participating in a fundraiser that somebody else has already started. Um, maybe they've sent you a link. You're going to choose that option. Um, and if you're an individual just raising money independently for an organization or for yourself, you're going to click the individual option. So this next page has like a brief overview you can read through. And then you're going to put your email in first. Um, this is where all of the information is going to be sent, so it's very important. Um, you're going to put your first name, last name, your phone number. Um, and then you're going to add your fundraising category. So for this, I'm using athletics. And for this example, I'm going to be using the um, Eagles Varsity Basketball as the organization or team name. Um, then you're going to put your description, uh, which is going to appear at the top of your fundraising page. So for this, I put Varsity Team Fundraiser. And then I wrote a nice description in here for um, uh, basically for this page. Now, if you delete that, you're going to see like this gray text, which basically gives you a template for what you could put uh, as a description. Just an example. Um, the more specific, the more personal you can be, uh, I think the more that your donors are going to connect to your fundraiser. Um, then you're going to put how much you're looking to raise. The minimum is $100. And you're going to select a start date. Now, every event on Aimly lasts for seven days. So you don't need to put an end date, just a start date. Um, the end date will automatically populate. Um, then you're going to add a photo. Now, try to make this really personal, really relatable. You can see this is a great photo because it's like direct to camera. It's got a big smile. It gives you a sense of what the fundraiser is for. Um, this guy looks maybe a little young to be playing varsity, but, you know, he's a baller. Then you're going to have uh, your review and submit page. So basically, you're going to go through all the details, make sure they're correct. All right, and so this is what your page is going to look like. You can see all the information that I populated in there is now on the uh, landing page for our fundraiser. Uh, looks very similar to the example fundraising page. Um, and one thing I want to point out here is the share this event button. Now, if you're on mobile, this is going to have an option for sharing by text, SMS. Um, but you can see you have a Facebook and an email option. Um, and then also you can copy the link to your event and share it on socials. Very useful if you're making Instagram stories, TikToks, um, uh, putting it into your profile, um, uh, just to have that link available. Okay, so you've created your fundraiser. This is the email you're going to receive that's going to give you next steps. As a team leader, you're going to be able to scroll down and see a little paragraph you can send to your team members with a link to set up their individual pages and also the organization or team name and event start date that you're using. It's very important they use the exact same uh, uh, team name and start date that you set up because that allows us to sync things in the back end. 
And one more important thing I just want to mention is that you're going to be receiving an email from our customer care team asking you where you'd like your funds to be sent. Um, we send out checks seven days after your event ends. Well, I really hope that video was helpful for you. Um, if you have any questions at all, please reach out to our customer care team. You can call us or email us, and we're happy to help. Um, you can also reach out to us on socials, DM us, whatever's easiest for you. Um, we want to make sure that you have a very successful fundraiser. And go start an event with Aimly today.